On November 15th, Armenia's only synagogue, Mordecai Navi, was set on fire. This is the second attack on the synagogue in the last two months. A Asala Youth Group, claiming to be the successor to the historical terrorist organization Asala, which was active in the 1970s to 1990s, took responsibility for both attacks. What is the goal of the attackers this time? How is Asala Young connected with Hamas and Hezbollah? And why does it threaten not only Jews but also the Armenian authorities? Asfront gives an explanation. On the evening of the 15th of November, Armenian, Azerbaijani and Israeli websites, Telegram channels, Twitter and Facebook groups posted video and photo materials of the arson attack on Armenia's only synagogue Mordecai Navi, which is located in Yerevan. Thus, Armenia became the second country after Tunisia, where a synagogue building has been set on fire since the beginning of the war in the Middle East. This is the second attack on the Mordecai Navi synagogue in Armenia in the last two months. The first was on October 3rd. The Asala Youth Group claimed responsibility for the attack, as it did the previous time, posting a video of the arson attack and a statement in Armenian and English on the Asala Young Telegram channel created on October 3rd. The statement implied that another attack was carried out on the morning of November 15th. The attackers emphasized that the second operation was carried out in solidarity with the Palestinian and Lebanese resistance movements against Zionism. Moreover, leaflets in Armenian with the emblems of the original Asala, Hamas and Hezbollah were distributed in Yerevan and other Armenian cities. They included the writing, We have a common enemy. Notably, a day before the burning of the Yerevan synagogue, the Armenian paramilitary group Leva, as Shahid Nubar Ozanyan, established in Syria in 2019, spoke in favor of Palestine. We know that this war is not motivated by religion, and the real reason is Israel's long-standing desire to occupy Palestinian lands. Israel Ambassador to Armenia Joel Lyon strongly condemned the burning of the synagogue and called upon the Armenian government to condemn all forms of anti-Semitism, thoroughly investigate this crime, and bring the perpetrators to justice. Following him, Pinchas Goldschmidt, the president of one of Europe's largest rabbinical alliances, the Conference of European Rabbis, demanded that the Armenian president detain the members of the Asala group, outlaw it, and increase security for the Jewish community. He added, if there is no proper response, there will be Jewish blood in the streets and the Armenian government will bear the responsibility for it. The burning of the synagogue in Yerevan was also brought to the attention of the Israeli Ministry of Diaspora Affairs. The incident has been covered in English language by Israeli media such as Jerusalem Post, Haaretz, I-24, by the largest Jewish weekly in the US, the Jewish Press, and the Middle Eastern news agency Mina, based in Jordan. As in previous Asala Young statements, the current one contains the following threat. If the Zionist regime's armed attacks on the Armenian neighborhood of Jerusalem and seizure of Armenian church property do not stop, our next operation will be outside of Armenia. It concerns a land dispute between an Israeli private company and the Armenian Patriarchate. According to the Israeli periodical Detali, the Armenian Patriarchate leased a part of its land in Jerusalem to the Zana Gardens Company on November 10, 2021. The authorities of Jordanian and Palestinian autonomy called this deal an attempt of Jewish colonizers to grab the lands. The Patriarchate decided not to damage relations with them and began to slow down the implementation of the agreement. At the end of October 2023, the Patriarchate sent a letter to the company Zana Gardens in which it informed about the cancellation of the deal due to its illegality. As the periodical notes, the mere fact of sending the letter does not mean the cancellation of the lease agreement. On November 5th, according to a number of Armenian periodicals, Zana Gardens leaders arrived at the site accompanied by armed Jewish settlers with fighting dogs. The Armenian media spread the information that Jews had come to take Armenian land. A day later, a wave of anti-Semitic and anti-Israeli publications and calls to fight against the Jews who try to steal a land appeared in Armenian social networks. On November 15 to 16, against the backdrop of the burning of the Yerevan synagogue, clashes between radical activists of the Armenian community in Jerusalem and a private Israeli company resumed. 
International News Agency, BNN Breaking, noted that the arson attack on a synagogue in Yerevan sparked widespread condemnation and raised serious questions about religious intolerance in Armenian society. Israel's Ministry of Diaspora Affairs has noted the rise of anti-Semitic sentiment in Armenia three times since September, most recently in an official document dated October 31st. It is worth noting that in 2019, the Israeli English language periodical, The Jerusalem Post, reported that Armenian society exhibits systemic anti-Semitism. And according to a study conducted by Pew Research Center in 2018, 32% of Armenians do not accept Jews as their fellow citizens. In one of the previous videos, we reported that the aim of the first attack on Mordecai Navi, which took place on October 3rd, was also to burn it down. The attackers threw at least one Molotov cocktail into the synagogue, but it did not ignite. The attack was also widely covered by Israeli, international Jewish and European media. At the time, the attackers claimed that Jews are the enemies of the Armenian people, that they are complicit in the alleged forced deportation of Karabakh Armenians, and if Israel continues to sell arms to Azerbaijan, a Salah youth group will start a war against Jews in Europe, America, Canada and Georgia. They also announced that more daring operations are coming soon. On November 15th, this promise was fulfilled. After the first attack, the Armenian Foreign Ministry issued condemnations and the Armenian ambassador to Israel justified the attackers. He said, we have to understand what provokes people to do such things. Two days earlier, he also said that Israel is guilty because it produces weapons that kill Armenians. Who is Asala? Asala was established in Lebanon in 1975. Between 1975 and 1997, it carried out more than 80 terrorist and sabotage attacks primarily against Turkish officials, Europe, the Middle East, and the United States. Asala attacks resulted in the deaths of 46 people and 300 injured. In connection with the activation of an organization calling itself Asala Young, that claims to be the successor to the historical Armenian terrorist organization Asala, as Front has obtained secret archival documents from Israeli military intelligence. In the collection Lexicon of the Palestine Liberation Organization, published in 1991 by the Israeli Ministry of Defense, it was noted that Asala is one of the most active terrorist organizations, with its headquarter in Beirut and its members dispersed in Lebanon, France and the USA. In December 1979 and February 1980, Asala carried out bombings near the building of Israeli airline El Al in Rome. The leaders of the historical organization Asala in the 1970s to 1990s were Gorgon Yanikian, Hagop Hagopian, Kevork Ajimian, and Monty Melkonian. They cooperated closely with Palestinian paramilitary groups and Hezbollah in Lebanon. In its proclamation dated October 6th, Asala Young declared that it follows the path of these men. In the same proclamation, they made claims against the Armenian authorities because official Yerevan does not support the struggle of the Lebanese resistance against the Zionist occupation. The original Asala group also threatened the Armenian authorities. In early November, a video message was circulated in the Armenian segment of social networks. Three masked men armed with Kalashnikov rifles threatened Pashinyan, his family, and the families of his close associates with annihilation. The people in the video claim that they are representatives of the Armenian diaspora from the Middle East. The website, representing itself as the mouthpiece of Asala, although there is no confirmation of this, called the video a provocation and stated that Asala had nothing to do with it. The authors added that the video was recorded in Western Armenian with Eastern Armenian accent, that is, by residents of Armenia who tried to pretend to be representatives of the diaspora. The same website denied Asala's involvement in organizing the first attack on a synagogue in Yerevan on October 3rd. At the time of recording this video, there were no comments or statements regarding the attempted arson attack on the synagogue on November 15th. The Caucasus and Middle East is closer to Europe and US than it seems at first glance. Subscribe and click on the bell in order to be informed of the main events. See you soon.